Hey, what's up? It's Pizza Loving Nerd here. Um, today I got five um, music players for three open source music players for Windows and Linux, and most of them work on Mac, but some of them do not. So first we have Adels Ad Adelsia. I don't know how to say it. Adelsius. I don't know, but you can read it right here. And um, I'm just gonna call it Adelsius. And let's give it has a nice design right here. Um, I like it, so let's give it a little play. So as you can see, works pretty good, so um here hold on, let me turn off down my OBS desktop volume so you can hear. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um yeah, so this is a Delcius, one of my favorite um music players for Linux. Let's look at the website for it. As you can see, it's got Linux and Windows downloads, so this does not have a Mac version, but some three of the other ones do. I think three, I don't know. So yeah, that's Adelsius, OBS2. Now, next we have um, Clementine. So this is by far my favorite cross-platform music player. Um, right now, my favorite music player is Lollipop, um, but if... But Lollipop only runs on Linux. If I had to use a music player on Windows, this would be it. So it has a nice interface. I like I like the look of it. it kind of looks old, but I like it. Um, and let's give it a play of Street Party. This one, this song, music's kind of quieter, but we can turn it up. There it goes. So yeah. Um. Anyways, that's Common Time. It's a nice music player. Take a look at the website here. I'm adding that to the series now. So yeah, and this does have Mac downloads, but it's have Windows, Mac, and Linux downloads. So yeah, if you're looking for a good music player, this is a good place to look. So yeah. The next music player is Amarok. So um, this one kind of reminds me of Clementine. Um, it's cool, I guess. So yeah. Anyways, let's play this song right here. This comes with Amarok, so yeah. And it has a nice interface, the visuals are nice. You can remove it if you want, but you can also make it cooler. Cool. So let's go back to Blocky. Yeah, it's got a nice interface. Um, it's also got support for internet, just like Clementine. Clementine also has this. You can add different internet things, like if we go to... Um, Oh, Clementine also has visual visualizations and that, but if we go to um, preferences, you can get different internet providers, so yeah, if you want that. But also, this also has different internet providers, so um, download failed, that's nice. But <laughs> if we go to settings, figure Amarok, um, we, and plugins, there's different plugins and internet stuff, so um, yeah. Um, I kind of, I like the iPod thing. Nice. But, or I'd use it if I knew about it. <laughs> Anyways, next, um, let's take a quick look at the website. It's, oh yeah, for Adelsius, it's adelsius-mediaplayer.org. Or dash media-player.org. Clementine, it's clementine-player.org. For Amarok, it's amarok.kde.org, and Amarok works on um, Windows, Mac, and Linux, so basically it's just this one, and I believe this one doesn't work. Speaking of this one, we have QMMP, or QMMP, no, never mind, QMMP. So this is one if you like small miniature players, so... All it has is an equalizer, your playlists, and that's it, your controller. So let's just select the song. Um, oh, it's good. There it goes. So if you like really small music players, if you're a minimalist type of guy, this might be the one for you. This player works on Linux and Windows. Sorry if you're a Mac user. This does not run on Mac. So, yeah. One thing is you have to minimize it. Oops, minimize it down here. So, last but not least, we have A-Tunes. So, 
um, look at this one. Oh yeah, and for QMMP, the website is qmmp.lysoftware.com. And it's a nice minimal website too. A minimal music player and a minimal website, so. Yeah. Anyways, here's iTunes. Nice. You like iTunes? Like, no, I'm kidding. It's nice. Um, this is a nice interface. It kind of looks ugly in my opinion. Puts the ug back in me. But, um, if you, it's customizable, so if you customize it right, it could look awesome. See, this is nice looking. And then I can also change the way you navigate and stuff. Pretty nice. Use different player engines. By default, it uses M player. Nice, and you could change the window type. You could change the look and feel. Oh, okay, use. Okay, I changed it to use GTK, so. Should use GDK now. If it wants to load. <laughs> so while it's loading, there it goes. So now it's using GDK, my GDK theme. So, yeah, let's give it a listen. Kind of broken on GDK, but whatever. Okay, so, yeah, that's that. So, let's look at the website of Atunes. So, it's got Windows, Mac, and Linux support. Yeah, so, that's pretty much it. It's a nice website. It's on, um, no, I'm not gonna do that. It's at so. Yeah, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'm out.